Hi, everyone. This is Jaylene Tracy with an energy update for you for the month of January. Welcome to 2023. It's nice to see you all again and be with you here. This year is going to be quite a stunner. <laughs> it's going to be a lot that goes on this year. And we're starting it off with some incredibly high frequency energy. For those of you that participated in different ceremonies and activations during the winter solstice, you are probably noticing now that the energy has continued to maintain its very high frequency feel. It's been incredibly sweet and yet also very expansive energy. So I hope that you have all had a chance to connect into that and really feel it in your bodies. I feel that the energy right now allows us to participate with it at whatever level we are ready to engage with it. So if you've been somebody that's been on the path for many years and you've been working very diligently to clear out your DNA's energy field by releasing trauma and by connecting to the truth of your soul and allowing your soul energy to come forward, then this time for you is probably feeling quite good in your body and quite expansive. That does not mean that you might not be dealing with some health issues at this time, because at any time that we start to experience a pretty dramatic frequency change, the one like the one we're dealing with right now, the human body has to keep up and acclimate to that new energy field. I've certainly felt it in my body and I've noticed it in friends and loved ones as well. Not to mention that we are already in flu season and um, spending a lot more time indoors and in really close company with each other. So definitely it's a time that it's easier to catch something, but simultaneously the change in frequency on the planet is not only stirring up the microbes on this planet and they are becoming more activated and active because of this change in the frequency, but our bodies are also undergoing a period of acclimation. During any period of acclimation, we become a little more susceptible to illness. So this is a good time to be very um, cognizant of that and to take very good care of your body, get lots of sleep, reduce alcohol intake and processed food intake, really try to eat well, cleanly, drink lots of water, add just a little bit of salt to your water to make sure that you're retaining fluids and that your body is well balanced with its fluids. That's very important right now. We want to make sure that all of the biofilms in your body are balanced and that you've got a good selection of bacteria and microbes maintaining your inner interstitial spaces and your inner balance of fluids. It's very important right now. And something I've noticed has been getting off kilter quite easily. So these are all symptoms of experiencing these big frequency changes. Onto the energy though, what can we do with this energy? It's the type of energy that allows you to engage with it at whatever level that you are at. If you are ready to begin to step into a mode of creation and expansion, the energy is there for you to participate with it. Anytime that you uh, participate with meditation or with whatever ceremony or um, process that you do on a regular basis that you like to participate in to connect to your soul energy will be very beneficial for you right now. You'll feel an expansion as you do this, and you will really feel the effects of it quite palpably in your body. So connecting to your soul energy is paramount right now, as well as allowing all of the growth that you have created and expanded into over the last days, months, or years that you've been on a healing and expanding journey, applying that to all aspects of you that you came in at originally. So who you were when you were born, it may have been um, a person that experienced a lot of suffering. It may have been a person that experienced a lot of resistance and or um, suppression by the people around you. Maybe people didn't understand you. Maybe you had to work very hard to become the person you are now and to break out of the shell of who you were at birth and the family you were born into. But all of the person that you were as a child and the whole journey that you've taken to get to where you are right now really needs to be brought into one sphere 
of experience. So there's no part of you that you are denying or no part of you that you are trying to push aside. All aspects of you are ready to become stitched together, merged, so that you can move forward as one complete whole being. And that's a really important part of the message right now. As we are incubating and enjoying these fresh high frequency energies, we are called for the deepest part of our truth of our soul to allow to emerge and unite all aspects of self, whether it is something that happened to you when you were younger that you were trying to get away from, and whether it is this very much more expansive experience that you've had in later years, the whole self includes all of that experience. It includes all of you. So right now, think of ways in which you can stitch that together. Think of ways in which you can bring acceptance and forgiveness and inclusion of all aspects of self. There will be no forward momentum for you if you are not able to bridge the gap between who you are now and who you once were. Many on the ascension path or on the exploratory path of metaphysics like to move forward but not look back to pull forward the aspects of themselves that they once were because they're so much happier with where they've gone and what they've become. But it's very important that when we move forward into new phases of expression, that we don't try and push down or negate any part of ourselves because all parts of you were chosen by you as a spirit. You came here to experience your parents. You came here to experience your life as a young child. And so all of that must come forward with you now, become integrated and create the whole self. The whole self is who wants to be here because the healing that you experience by integration of the whole self is the healing that your ancestors, your friends, your relatives, your parents will also receive. You are part of the morphogenic field around you. You are part of the ancestral field around you. You are part of the holographic field. And as such, any progress you make will reverberate out into all of humanity, but especially those who are close to you, who are energetically tied to you. So I invite you all to take a look at any way that you can to merge, 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 and work with the energy in ways that feel fun and exciting to you. If something brings you joy, do more of it. If it does not bring you joy, then find other avenues for expansion that do bring you joy. If meditation, sitting in meditation is not your thing, perhaps you find more joy through movement and you can create expansion of your consciousness through movement. We're all different. We all have our own way of connecting with each other and connecting to our inner higher self. But as long as we are on that journey and our intention is clear to bring in the merging and bring in the connection to the higher self, we really can't go wrong. So have fun with this energy and please leave your comments below. I always love to hear from you and I'll be back next month to check in with you and see how things are going. Take care for now. Bye-bye.